Hi friends, welcome back, and if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. I'll put my usual video on the screen showing you how to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell so that you're notified of all of my new uploads. We are doing another thread up video. If you are new around here, I have become, might I say, a thread up expert in 2020. Um, I started selling on thread up for those of you that don't know, two years ago, but I very seriously started taking reselling. Um, serious on thread up I would say around February of March of 2020 and in that time since February I am almost at a thousand active listings on thread up and I've just learned a lot and I like to share that with you guys I've been a part-time reseller for 10 years though I'm most proficient with eBay because that's where I started so I've been selling on eBay part-time for 10 years Amazon Poshmark thread up anything else for the last two years so I'm just sharing with you guys everything that I'm learning um, a couple of you have asked me if I would ever be a full-time reseller I highly doubt I'll ever be once I leave my corporate job if you're new around here quickly give you some history I have a full-time corporate job in healthcare. that's what my master's degree is in um, but once I leave that I don't think I'll ever have like a full-time job I like to diversify I always have I've always had multiple streams of income I really believe in that so full-time reselling only no I highly I never say never but I highly doubt that would ever happen I'm also a real estate agent I love real estate I have an investment property I want to get more um, I just I love real estate I love reselling I have other income streams so no not full-time part-time yes Full-time, probably not. Like I, When I say full-time, I mean that's my main source of income with nothing else. But let's talk about ThreadUp. Let's talk about getting daily sales on ThreadUp. I'm not going to lie to you. This did not happen overnight for me. I told you I just recently started taking um, reselling on ThreadUp, seriously, 2020. And I would say I hit daily sales uh, like two months ago. So we're in October now. <laughs> Just if you're new around here, I'm pregnant. Math is, has never been my strong suit. And then to try to do it while I have pregnancy brain is ridiculous. So I would say I hit daily sales in August. Let's say I started getting really serious in February. So that took about six months. Um, and I'm just going to go through these one by one. And you can comment down below if you get daily sales. I'd love to know if any of you are getting daily sales because a lot of you are more experienced at ThreadUp, I feel like, than I am. Some of you are brand new, but I'd love to hear if you're getting daily sales down below. Tip number one, I had to have enough inventory to be able to get daily sales. So, sorry guys, allergies and pregnancy, I cannot breathe and my sinuses. So just ignore the nose touching and stuff I did not start getting daily sales until I had about four to five hundred active listings on Poshmark um, there's a caveat to that which we'll talk about in tip number two but that's just I feel like that's probably obvious but I wanted to mention it like when I had a hundred listings when I had 200 listings even I know that seems like a lot but ThreadUp has a lot of traffic, a lot of eyes on their website, and I feel like if you just don't have the amount of inventory necessary to get daily sales, it just may not happen for a while. Maybe you get them every other day. For example, I used to track this. I should like share my spreadsheet with you guys. When I had like one to 200 active listings, I would get a couple sales a week, which I was happy with, you know? I was just like starting to send them stale inventory. I was starting to source specifically for ThreadUp back then. So I was happy with like five or 10 sales. Um, it was honestly more like five sales every seven days, which is almost daily, but they would come in like lumps. I'm now to the point where six or seven days a week, minimum six days a week, I'm getting an email, something sold, something sold, something sold. And that started for me around four to 500 active listings. So that's my tip. And of course, you guys, things may be different for you. Maybe you're sourcing really coveted items. Maybe you're sourcing high-end items that people are looking for or even mall brand items that people really want. Then you might get day, uh, daily sales at 100 listings. I'm just telling you what happened for me and sharing what's been going on with me because I think you guys find it helpful. So that's tip number one. I noticed it around four to 500 active listings. Let me move my mic. 
Now, tip number two kind of goes along with tip number one. I think once I started to get a handle on what sells on ThreadUp is when I started also getting daily sales because what I told you, I started sending a lot of inventory to them very quickly. So I would send about, and I still do, five to 10 boxes a week. And I started learning, okay, these brands don't sell as fast. These brands get pulled very often for their goodie boxes and I get paid out immediately. I learned that handbags are final sale. So if a handbag sells, you don't have to wait that 15 um, day window for the person to return it. As soon as it ships, they pay you. So I started learning those things. So then when I started sourcing specifically for ThreadUp and I would see like an Ann Taylor jacket, I would be like, that's something that's, that could be pulled for ThreadUp's goodie box and could sell quickly. So I started picking up a bunch of Ann Taylor. If you are newer to ThreadUp and you don't know what brands sell, what brands don't sell, I've done a bunch of videos on, on those listing brands that sell for like 25 to 50 bucks, brands that sell for over $200. I will link all those videos down below, but I've kind of done the legwork for you because I just kind of learned through trial and error and reclaiming things, what brands are gonna sell quickly, what brands won't. So once I started sourcing more specifically for ThreadUp, I noticed the daily sales. So just a couple examples, like bread and butter items that I would notice that they would pull for goodie boxes would be like Banana Republic, um, Umji, and Taylor, the brands that we've talked about in those videos where I list brands that don't sell, brands that sell. Of course, I'll leave the whole playlist down below, but that kind of goes along with tip number two. I don't feel like you can just have like a thousand active listings. If it's not brands or a style that people want, it could just sit there and you may not sell it for a while or you may have to reclaim it and send it in again. So it's really number one and number two that coincide together with having the amount of inventory so that you can even have those daily sales, but then also finding those brands that sell, that'll sell quickly so you don't have to reclaim them or brands or styles that people are looking for. Number three, what's been working for me to get daily sales is, and I've mentioned this to you many times, my business model on ThreadUp, I source everything, you guys. I'm okay with netting a profit of $10 on an item because you guys know, if you've seen any of my hauls, I get about, I'd say like 50 to 60% of my inventory for $2 or less. I go to the Goodwill bins, and also here in Los Angeles, we have Dollar Day. My nose is driving me insane. <laughs> this lady, <laughs> this is a stupid story. I was in um, Coffee Bean, which is like a Starbucks if you don't have it. I was picking up like a frozen drink and I kept touching my nose and like, because my allergies are bothering me and I kept touching my mask and I try not to because it's not good to touch your face when you're out, period, but especially during these times. This woman was like, oh, are you coming off a cocaine high or something or a coke high? I don't know what, I just said like, are you coming off a, a coke bender? And I was like, girl, I just have allergies. Not to mention I'm nine months pregnant. I think there'd be a problem. What the living in in Los Angeles I mean any major city but I was just like and who comes up to someone and says that it just made me think of that because I keep touching my nose and I was just like anyways where was I number three <laughs> if you are new around here I do often go off on tangents someone commented on one of my videos and she was like I'm so grateful for your videos and I'm not trying to be rude but you need to cut out the chatter and I was like, okay, Nikki, don't get snooty. Because I was going to say, not trying to be rude, but my channel's probably not for you. But I cut out the not trying to be rude. I just said, no, I'm not cutting out the chatter. My channel's probably not for you. And I totally get that. Some people don't vibe, and they don't want to watch the people that, you know, insert personal stories and chatter with the information they're delivering. I personally like watching videos like my own where I feel like the person is just my friend talking to the camera. So I feel like that's why I film this way because that this is just who I am and that's the type of content I like to watch. So I'm when people say that, I don't get those comments often, but when I do, I'm just very open with them. Like you might want to unsubscribe. I'm never just going to be like direct to the point, give you the information and get off camera. That's just not me. First of all, I like to talk. I'm an only child. So when I get to talk to anything other than myself, I'm very excited, okay? So you're gonna get like random stupid ass stories like that cocaine woman 
telling me if I'm on a bender. What I was saying was my business model is I source all types of brand be brands because I get my inventory at such a low price. 50% of it, 50 to, six, 50 to 60% is $2 or less. The other 40% I do pay up for. I do retail arbitrage to get new at tags items or I buy luxury used items. So I am completely okay with making $10 profit on a lot of the stuff I send to thread up because a lot of times I'm paying $2 or less, but I also send them higher end items. For example, I have a Versace purse there that's currently um, for sale for, I think it's like $980. So I sell everything. Think mall brands, think affordable brands, think those mid-range brands, and then those super high-end brands. So I think because I have such a plethora of inventory, excuse me, burps, Oh, that did not taste good. Because I have such a, I should say, like a wide array of inventory that also allows like my customer base on ThreadUp to be wider. And now I'm not saying you can't get daily sales if you have high-end items or if you only sell super affordable items. You definitely can. A lot of my reselling friends do that. I'm just saying what I've noticed that works for me is once I started really focusing on a wider array of price points, the sales really started flowing in. So, I mean, you guys know this if you've watched my brands videos. There aren't many brands that I don't send to thread up. The ones that come like to the top of my head are like Forever 21 because like I'll, I just sent them a Forever 21 dress. It was from my own closet. I had worn it for years, so I didn't really care. Um, but it, it gave me a profit of like three bucks. Like even though I'm not doing the work, I'm not photographing, I'm not listing, I still want to net a profit a minimum of 10 bucks. So I don't pick up a lot of Forever 21. A lot of H&M I don't send unless it's like a coat or something really unique. Those are the only two brands, those type of brands like Fashion Nova, Shein, those net me a profit of less than 10 bucks. I'm trying to stay away from those, but a lot of things other than that, you guys, I will send in like Ann Taylor, Banana Republic, um, The Limited, all of those brands can do great. And I know I'm not the only one who sees them all the time. BCBG Max Asria, I find that for a dollar every single dollar day. Every single dollar day, I find BCBG Max Asria and it always, and I don't want to use that most of the time, I the price sets on ThreadUp for at least 50 bucks. I told you guys, I showed you in my last What Sold on ThreadUp video, I bought a dollar BCBG Max Asria dress that sold for $216. So I think that's helped me to get the daily sales is just really focusing on a wider array of brands, a wider array of price points. And so all three of these things working together have helped me to get daily sales. So really focusing on brands and learning what brands work, what brands sell quickly, um, focusing on a wide array of price points, and then also getting my active listings up. Those three things together and it was just like, boom, Every day, my email, I get about three to four sales a day. That's not an exaggeration. I told you guys I keep wavering between like what kind of course I wanna create because I actually want the course to launch early 2021. So a lot of you have said eBay or Amazon and I'm thinking maybe I could do like a, I don't know what I would call it, like a supercharged thread up course to like, I don't know, 10X your income on ThreadUp or something where we could do like a mini course that's just all the information, really informative, straight to the point, and you can consume it quickly because ThreadUp's quick, quickly becoming one of my favorite platforms to sell on just because it gives me so much time back. All I have to do is source, clean, do an inventory list, box it up, they list it, they do the customer service, uh, they photograph it, it's just, I love it, it's awesome. It's probably one of my favorite ways to sell clothing right now. I can't say I prefer it over eBay just because on eBay I can sell anything and that's why eBay is number one for me. Actually eBay and Amazon. You can sell almost anything on those platforms. I told you guys two years ago I sold my car on eBay. Um, I sell golf clubs. I sell baseball bats. I just I make a lot of money selling everything on eBay and Amazon and you're gonna see a video on that soon so okay tip number four and this is something that I've recently started um, it's not my favorite thing to do but I told you guys I would test it out I've just started 
um, lowering my prices when we hit that like 30 day window. So if you're newer to ThreadUp, you either have 60 or 90 days to sell something. It depends on what type of brand it is. Higher end brands, you get 90 days. And so what I used to do is I used to adjust my price. Fun fact, if you watch one of my first ThreadUp videos, it's the one with the yellow top and I'm like teaching you A to Z how to sell on ThreadUp. I didn't even adjust my prices back then. So like the first year selling on ThreadUp, I was making pennies compared to what I could have made. Oh, oh my God, excuse me. This child is making me a monster. I just burp all the time. Uh, <laughs> sorry. If you're still here and you haven't subscribed yet and you don't think I'm crazy, what are you waiting for? Subscribe, come on back for burps and random stories. Um, I didn't adjust my prices then. So I would just leave the price at whatever thread up said and that was it. And oh, I missed out on so much money. Anyways, I started doing that in 2020. So you can set your price to, to the max that they allow you to. And then, so what I've been doing most of this year is I would just set it to the max and forget it. I told you guys I have a lot of jobs. I don't usually have time to go through and look at everything, but I've ma I've started making the time the last two months to go through all of my active listings, see where they're at, see how much more time they have, and I've actually been lowering the prices of items once they hit that 30-day mark because you have 30 days and then they notify you when you have seven days left. And actually now they've been notifying me when you have 24 hours left to reclaim your item um, so that you can get it back. So when I get that 30 day email, I've actually been going in and lowering the prices of items. And I've noticed that if they've been sitting there for the last 30 days or 60 days, they sell. So adjusting your prices can help. Not everything I lower the price on at the 30 day mark sells, but a lot of it, I would say about a 50% sell through rate on those items that I go in and adjust the price from the max price. So I told you guys I would experiment with that. I started doing it about two months ago and it has worked. Um, in my opinion, again, do what works for you and your business model. I'd rather have something sell than come back to me and reclaim it and have to process it through inventory again and have to send it back. I'd just rather have it sell. So I'm totally fine with lowering prices once we get to that 30 day mark, but it has been working. It is a lot of work though. When you sell on so many platforms like I do, I sell on eBay, Poshmark, Amazon. It's a lot of work when you have almost a thousand active listings to manage that. But in my opinion, what I've learned from my testing over the last two months, I think it's worth it because like I said, I'd rather have that item sell and not come back to me and not have to reclaim it and send it back than, um, yeah, it's been working. So it's worth the work. It's work, but it's my money. And if I want to make the most amount of money, then that's just what I've got to do. So those are my four tips, friends. Let me know your thoughts down below. I really am curious how many of you are getting daily sales on ThreadUp and what do you sell? So do you sell high end? Do you sell like more affordable items or are you like me and you just sell everything? I'd really like to know. And also I'd like to know how many active listings do you currently have on ThreadUp? I'm just curious to see. From most of the comments I see, I think a lot of you are newer to ThreadUp because a lot of you ask questions like, how do I change the price or like, um, you know, just questions that make me think maybe you're newer, but I'm just curious. Yeah. So let me know in the comments down below. Daily sales, yay or nay? How many active listings? Uh, there will be more thread up videos. There's also going to be a lot more eBay and Amazon videos coming up. Thank you to all of you that at the end of the last video, I forget what video it was, I asked you, like, what do you want to see on eBay and Amazon? Because a lot of times you guys will say, oh, we want more eBay videos, we want more Amazon videos. But I'm like, what exactly do you want to see? So a lot of you responded. And from what I understand, you guys want like the bare basics. Um, some of you said that you're just, you haven't tried eBay. You'd love a basic like video on that. A lot of you have said you need like basics, like bare basics, like literally how you start your store on Amazon, what you sell on there. So I think these are all good ideas for courses, but I'm going to do videos on them obviously, but I just thank you for your feedback. I'm going to get out of this hot ass sweater. Uh, I'm trying to do like the fall vibes and make it look like it's fall. Here in Los Angeles, I'm not exaggerating, it is 90 degrees today and it is October 5th or something. Like it's not fall here yet. 
in this area honestly you guys we don't get fall till like december sometimes november like it'll start raining a little bit fall for us is like cloudy mornings and rain um fall winter winter we get like two weeks of rain and then that's <laughs> but yeah fall starts very late here uh, it doesn't happen in october usually i'd be honestly surprised if it happens in november so i mean i'm trying to give like the impression of it but i'm literally like sweating like i just want to rip this wig off right now i'm going to the hair salon to get my hair done i'm a little nervous she said she's gonna leave her mask on the whole time i'm gonna leave my mask on the whole time I have not been to a hair salon, I think since January, and I can't take it anymore. I want to look nice when I give birth. I'm tired of these heavy ass, long ass wigs. Like, I just want hair that I can just put up in a ponytail and stuff, you know? Anyways, I'm just rambling. All right, friends, if you haven't seen my other Thread Up videos, you can check them out right here.